Just a quick update. Um, I've got my new radiator. Um, it's a triple um, thermo chill PA120.3. Um, obviously, that's where it's going to sit in the bottom of the case. And there's enough room for a double version of this or the phaser exchanger, which will sit on the other side of this, so sort of around the back, but in the same same way. Um, I'm going to have the reservoir here as it was. Um, coming down through there, down to the pump, which is going to be here, and then up, obviously into the radiators, and then up through here into the cards, and back to here. Um, nice easy loop, um, hopefully this will do the trick. It is absolute monster of a um, radiator, especially compared to the one that... I was forced to use the other day, which is this skinny um, black ice GTS, I think, GTS. Um, this just wasn't up to the job. Um, temperatures were actually under load, but worse than they were on air, um, on auto. So that that's how bad it was. I mean, uh, under load, you could actually touch this radiator and it was hot, like nearly scalding hot. So that's how really how bad it was. Um, so anyway, I've got this um, triple rod now. I'm going to set it all up. I will maybe do a few in-between videos to show you the progression. Um, okay, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I've got the radiator fitted um, in the bottom now. It's getting a bit dark, so you might not be able to see so well. Um, the I've got the reservoir fitted. So the pump is, is behind the radiator, so you can't see that. Um, now all I need to do is cut this to size to go into the bottom card, and then I'll have a pipe coming from the top card to that. Um, then just add some fans onto there, and I'm going to be pretty much done. So I'm going to get on with doing that, and I will be back in a few minutes. I've got everything installed, um, blocks in again, um, I'm using three different fans, um, I was using just the white aerocall which looked alright, but the fans themselves are actually quite shit, they look nice but they're really really low RPM and they don't move much air at all, um, so basically I just, I've just i stuck two AC Ryan fans on there just to basically see if they do spin faster and they, they do, I don't know whether you can make it out there, the centre thing if you look at that and then look at that, the difference in speed um, I mean that is very easy to stop <laughs> that one's not that hurt um, so that's the difference in the RPM on them fans um, the aerocall ones I wouldn't recommend them to anybody they're, they're really are shit um, other than that everything's good um, I'm going to run a quick vantage run to um, have a look at the temperatures um, I'm going to try and run the 771 megahertz core clock um, and we will see how it goes. Okay, I've um, got the um, new radiator fitted. Um, I'm just running a quick vantage run. Um, temperatures are 44, 46, 45 at 771 megahertz core clock. 1692 MHz shader clock and 1386 memory clock. Um, temperatures I'm over the moon with. I mean, below 50 degrees, at this sort of clock speed is just is just really good. Um, especially as it's actually really warm in here at the minute. Um, it's actually cold in the UK, as everyone knows, but we have something called central heating, which um, actually warms our houses up and it's probably around it's got to be 30 degrees in here at least um, so I'm extremely happy with the temperatures um, it's evened them out previously with the um, other radiator I had the temperatures were going higher than they were on air um, over 85 degrees um, which is just ridiculous um, as you can see, everything's running nice, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy, um, especially with 771 megahertz over the moon. 
I'm fine though. Um, I'm going to do a quick guard on how to install the coolant water block over your memory. Real rough guard, I'm not actually going to install, I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Um, Rich the Gamer 99 asked me if I could do it. Um, it's really simple to do. You need to obviously take your RAM first and you need to remove the heat sinks that are on them. I mean, nearly every RAM you buy now comes with some sort of heat sink. Um, it needs to be removed completely. The best way to do that is um, adding heat. Um, that usually gets them off, loosens the glue and just basically pry them off with a razor blade or something. You have to be really careful not to take the IC off with it. Um, a lot of uh, memory out, Dominator, XMS3, no matter what you do, they're just so hard to get off. People have tried with blow torches. Um, you can try them in the freezer, which sometimes works, but it just seems Dominator and XMS3, in fact most Corsair, uh, most Corsair RAM, is really difficult to do. I've had a lot better um, results with the OCZ stuff. Um, anyway, once the heat sinks are off, you install the RAM with no heat sinks into the slots. And then you take the block, you loosen the two end pieces, um, you notice it's just three heat packs inside, um, which the, the RAM sort of sits between the, the two bits. Um, and then it's pretty much, you slide that over the top of the memory and you tighten the, the nut shop and that's it, as simple as that, and they're installed. Um, I hope that made sense. Um, I'm sure it would, but yeah, it's as easy as that. Alright, thanks for watching.